Good morning everybody, my name is Osa. We are playing Farming Sim 19 on Oakfield Farm Farming Agency Edition. It is late in the day and I have been working a ton of hours this week. As you can see here, there is a row of clover hay. There is a whole stack of clover hay now in this shed and we are still collecting and storing. So that is basically the plan until nightfall. And this is not a particularly fun job, but at least the autoloader helps. Oh, too far. back really fast the problem is is the auto load forks will re reactivate after you've emptied it but you have to travel a distance so I've kind of figured out that so long as I move really fast um, they don't activate until I'm far enough away from the existing stack. What I should have done, probably, was stack everything against the back wall. And then, uh, oh, what happened there? Stack everything against the back wall. And work my way out from there. Anyway, that looks good. away oh. oh and camera uh, angles are probably going to be a little bit troublesome today while we're doing this JCB in and try and push that into the corner. Or I could do it by hand. And we bought a new tractor. So yay for that. Well, that seemed to work. Okay. Edge in very carefully. That looks kind of okay. Done. Grab the last two and then we'll go back to the field. Z so new tractor is an eight fifty axiom. Basically, yeah, and just sort of consideration of what tractor do I want in addition to the others on the farm. Bumped up the horsepower on the case, 
So this one and the case are very similar in capability. Um, much like the Axion 940 and the Challenger are very similar. So they're interchangeable on uh, work we can do around the farm. JCB, you know, one size engine, so it is what it is. But it's our fast moving tractor. Also four wheel steer, so very, very useful on the wrapping front. As you can see, this field is completely cleared. Struggle up the hill. And um, we have bales in the top field. I haven't done all of this field yet. And we're progressing through this one quite nicely. I'm just finding that it's easier to sort of row a couple of rows, then bale them, then collect them, because then the bales don't get in the way, especially with the shape of the fields that we've got here. And I have very, very carefully rowed these and baled these so that we don't end up with any non-clover hay bales. As there was the risk of probably grass since you have to let those dry out in the sun. I haven't done the, that yet. We're still in spring, so early mornings would probably involve dew, which then means that all the drying that's gone on gets eliminated. Really, the only convenient time with, with seasons Maze Plus and this Geo is summer where you can make straight hay because you have to I mean this stuff I had to run around with the tether twice then row it then bale it Our, uh, is that canola? Yeah, that's canola. Cool. Um, and it's got a ways to go. That's what's planted. Okay. I've finished planting our sunflower seeds. The fields, obviously, this block here is glitched. Um, so that there is ready to harvest. That must be miscanthus, I'm guessing. How are we up to four more? Well, that's kind of convenient. Oops. I could do with a safety weight, I must admit, still. And I also need to bring the planter back and the Land Rover, but priority here is get the uh, get the stuff clear on these two fields, three fields. I did collect through this passageway, so we're not driving across hay as we uh, clear the other field. But as I said, clearing as we go um, just makes it easier to row and bale and stuff when... Ooh. when you're not leaving bales in your way for each trip up and down. Let's 
stop there. Unload. <coughs> So yeah, the kids will be coming later today, but they're with their grandparents at the moment, so logistics on that count, um, I'm not really aware of at this time. Um, it's possible that the grandparents could drop them off here, um, or that we have to go and pick them up, but that will be well after lunchtime. I think I forgot to turn the engine off on that, but oh well. I think maybe what I should do is uh, start another row. The, uh, yes, we are. Oh. As I said, manoeuvring bales inside sheds can be a little bit tricky with the camera angles. Anyway, let's put that there. Once you drop it on the ground, the bales become real, so you can actually slide them into the wall without too much hassle. I do believe this is the CSZ um, attachment pack. I think we're still waiting for in FS22 if it's going to be a thing in FS22. Unfortunately, from my point of view, um, it would be kind of nice to have a front loader version of this. because the auto stack thing is really, really handy. But as it is, I've got the big, giant grab, which is currently fitted on the JCB outside the front gate. And that's, that, that's good enough for uh, most of the stuff I do with the front loader. Frankly, I mean, the only thing I really do with that JCB is uh, feed bales into the digester down at the BGA, because it's, it's a quick tractor. I can run down there very quickly and uh, do that job. Plus, now we've got the, uh, the 850. Um, I'm not going to miss having a medium tractor on the farm when it needs to be doing that job. Backwards, don't go backwards. And grab the last two, and we can go back to rowing and bailing. Which will be all sorts of. Oh no! Oh, I thought there was only two left. There's four, so. No biggie. And you 
just going around in circles, I guess. So now we can grab the last one. And I'll back that out of the way. the challenge oh, there's so much so much work to do today and this isn't a quick job so uh, we could be working this late into the night although we nearly finished that top field field eight is it Field 9 won't take long at all. Field 11 is a good size. That'll probably take an hour or two. I wish I could do uh, the Farm Sim 22 tell a worker to drive a tractor back to the farm deal. Because we've still got the the 940 and the Land Rover are still out. They're done with planting, but I've uh, I've not brought them back to the farm yet. Of course, the other thing we could do here is do a follow me with the baler. Really haven't done much of that this time. I tend to find the baler gets in the way when I do that. Uh, oh. oh. For some reason the front weight was the selected device. So you need to work that away from the uh, the edge. So the actual issue I have here usually is um, just keeping the rows parallel to each other so much as I prefer to do to the right here and run down that way. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that because that row I just created, which is needed because we're too close to the wall at the bottom, would get in the way. So we'll just do it this way. might be able to I, this might actually work as a worker so what I might do is take this thing down to the bottom field 11 and uh, set this if on a worker and see how well it does and then all I have to worry about is the bailing and the the collecting Although the thing with the bailing is it tends to get in the way of the rowing and you do it that way. Still, this is almost done. Oh, are we going to be wide enough? Ooh, if I am very clever. Ah, uh, missed a little. But I think that's kind of good. Think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and get this off on a worker in field 11, which will get the job run faster if I can manage that. Very narrow gap in that edge. Yay.
Oh. That's a problem I have been having on these fields is the tractors do tend to roll away. So Alrighty. Helpery has completed their task. You toad. Come on. There we go. Just have to get far enough out on the field for it to recognize it. That's it. That's all you're going to do. That's the problem. It doesn't like clo Workers don't like clover. So uh, you kind of have to do everything manually. I think I already discovered that. Anyway. Turn it on. For some reason, the uh, the weight is not selected on the baler unit. And even at 280 horsepower, 275 horsepower, there's still struggles going uphill. I don't think I'm going to be too worried about uh, our clover hay levels forever. I think normally we have about 40 bales in reserve. I've got way more than that now. Six. Ooh, good grief. I think I've got in excess of a hundred already. Um, it would be nice to try and make some more silage, but uh, this is all row well, this is all tedded now, so not gonna happen. Occasionally, once the baler is established with clover hay, I'll go and grab the little bits of grass. Not too bad here, but the edges of fields like that can end up with quite a, a uh, patchwork of clover and grass in the windrow. So you have to make sure that you are definitely established on a clover hay bale um, before you touch any of the grass. Oh, come on, guy. I don't think the... the Axion 8 has... Uh, has any more horsepower than this, if any. Might just check on that. So as I said, we uh, we upgraded, the 850 has 264. Yeah, it's a big price step up to get the 860, and then this has 270. So they're very close. And the baler needs already gone past it haven't I? No, there. The baler needs 230 so we got you know 30-ish horsepower in reserve but this yard a little bit hilly to actually make it thing I haven't done lately is uh, check the sheep. We checked them this morning, but that was 
quite a while ago. Dump those out there. should have done there was to take part of that field again just row it out okay where's the collector over here So this is this is how I've been approaching these fields. Obviously, the silage field, um, pretty much in and done on that one. Um, and the hardest part of that was wrapping all the bales. I am so looking forward to going to Farm Sim 22, where the bales are bigger. So you make fewer of them, and you have to process fewer of them. Just makes the whole baling task a lot quicker. As I said, I've been doing I've been doing this for about four hours over the course of this week, just baling and collecting and storing and stacking. <laughs> I think that pile of weeds there just appeared. And I could have started this job earlier today, I just didn't realise it was time. Uh, what I did was, you know, every morning I get up, I look here and say, oh, you know, how do the fields look? What needs to be done? Um, and then, yeah, weeding, ploughing, fertilising, that sort of stuff. And I just um, completely forget. Got to plough that. Um, that there's usually about five minutes real time while the map's updating after you sleep, where it's not showing precisely what needs to be happening. And so when I got up this morning, it was sort of, okay, I need to plant the sunflowers. Are oh, the clovers still growing? Check the sheep, feed the sheep, sell some sheep, uh, plant the fields with sunflowers. And then I got through to about 11 o'clock, the sunflowers were all done, um, or all collected. Not collected, planted. And then I looked and the sort of, oh! Uh, the clover is actually ready. Well, that's a pain. So, I'll plant that there. Now I should, since this is not going to uh, do the worker thing, 